the Jean Lafitte Visitor Center uses a series of animated puppets to tell the story of the man it's named after, famous privateer and war hero Jean Lafitte. Jean Lafitte used the area bayous for his smuggling operation. This was his headquarters. He needed somewhere where he could duck off and uh, he knew the Barataria Bay and these areas, these swamps more than anyone else. Because of his knowledge of Barataria Bay, which was used to access New Orleans, during the War of 1812, the British approached Lafitte, offering him $30,000 in a captaincy in the Royal Navy for his allegiance. Instead, even though there was a bounty on his head, Lafitte went to warn Louisiana officials. Came in, guns are blazing, so they wouldn't <laughs> shoot him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and they told him, this, told him the story, and he said, okay, you're good, you're good, let's, uh, let's talk. In return for a legal pardon, Lafitte and his comrades helped General Andrew Jackson heroically defend New Orleans. Interim Mayor Tim Kerner Jr. gave us a tour around town. His father, Tim Kerner, was the mayor of Lafitte, but recently won a seat in the state house. He wanted to make sure Lafitte continued to have a voice after losing longtime state legislator and advocate John Alario, who was term limited. I just felt it was a critical time, and, and uh, I, I didn't think anybody would fight as hard as I, I, I will to actually um, to restore the coast and, 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 uh, and provide flood protection for this area and help the whole district. Tim Jr. will be running for mayor in April. When you think of Lafitte, you think of the Kerners. Tim Kerner Sr. was a seven-term mayor. The only other mayor was Tim's father, Leo Kerner Jr., who was first sworn in in 1974 when Lafitte was incorporated. In fact, there's only been an eight-year span where a Kerner hasn't been in charge. My great-grandfather was elected in 1886 as constable, 1888 as uh, Justice of the Peace, died in office in 1938. His wife took over, then my grandpa. The Lafitte Barataria Museum is another fantastic place to stop by to learn about the history with more animation to capture the kids' attention. Always excited to see the first boat come in. Catch anything! <laughs> and right behind it is the Wetland Trace, a one mile raised boardwalk that loops through the swamp and wetlands, with more additions coming to the area in the near future. I didn't cook them. Oh, you did? For some more history and great food, we stopped by Booties, which was recently renovated and reopened in December. Morgan Perrin Jr. bought it from his cousin. It's got a great second story balcony overlooking the water, and when you first walk in, you can take a stroll down memory lane. A lot of people now, and you know, they, they always point, you know, they, they know this one, they know that one, or some, someone else who's that, but it's, it's pretty nice, you know, a lot of people enjoy it. It's kind of like a, just a little walk through history, almost like a little museum type, you know, when you come in there. Of course, we couldn't leave Lafitte without checking out Fleming's Plantation. Originally built in the 1800s, it's right on the water with majestic oak trees. Tim Sr.'s cousin John Fleming grew up in the house and owns it now. He's in the process of restoring it to its original form. Tim says the hair stood up on the back of his neck the first time he walked in. It's got a fireplace in every room. It's two stories. So I just know Jean Lafitte spent a lot of time, if it wasn't actually his house. I mean, he was a pirate. He couldn't have things in his name. I, 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 you know, I get that. But I know that he had to spend a lot of time there. What the rumor says, and that uh, um, no, no documented uh, uh, autobiographies of him that exist that I know of that says he was here, but uh, as far as we know, it, it was, this was his stomping ground. Fleming's ultimate plan is to eventually turn the plantation into a historical museum. So plenty of history tied to a colorful character, great fishing and local seafood, adventures for the whole family, and a family legacy awaiting April's elections. That's a look at Jean Lafitte.